Okay, I just received this in the mail today from DHL, all the way from France. This is the Cakewalk extruder for 3D printer. And I thought I would share this unboxing with you to see what we got. So first off is a thank you card from them. This was a Kickstarter, uh, merci, a Kickstarter campaign that I backed. We've got recipes and parameters for using. That's cool. All right. And assembly instructions. Nicely done, step by step. Got two of them. Okay. Two assembly instructions. Have to figure that one out. Packing slip. All the things that was ordered. And then peanuts and oh yeah, there's also uh, uh, makings for the icings, etc. So these are all the mixes and chocolates and meringue. Kind of powdery. Looks like maybe one of the bags might have broken. So there's definitely powder loose in here. Meringue. Uh, so one, two, three is chocolate. Tomato, meringue, etc. Six of those. All right, here we have the extruder. Nicely sealed. And I think this is the second extruder that I got. Also nicely sealed. I'll open these up in a minute, but definitely very dusty in this package. Something on these baking powders, uh, the mixes uh, broke open. A silicone baking mat. And a needle, stress-free needle. That's uh, actually, it's got six or eight of them, um, or maybe even ten to break up any clogs in the needle, so that's good. And two stainless steel nozzles. A Noozle, N-O-O-Z-L-E, Noozle set. So these have been uh, drilled out for uh, use with the icing extrusion or whatever uh, topping that we're gonna print. And the rest in here is just peanuts. So, now let's uh, look at what we've got here for the components. All right, so one silicon baking mat. Looks to be about 12 by 12 inches. Um, Okay, and that's in plastic. Now for the actual goods. Okay. There's the extrusion tube and the extruder corkscrew. They had to go back and get this redone at least once to get it to their liking. And imagine this all unscrews. And you set that in there. I'm assuming that's correct. 
we'll learn. And then on this side, that goes on top. And a little bit rough on the threading, but once you get it straight, okay. So, and of course there's parts that I have to 3D print the collars to strap this to vertical mount. Um, now I did not get the version that uh, includes the uh, stepper motor because I have plenty of stepper motors. Uh, so they have various versions of the, the kits. Um, and uh, I've got plenty of access to things like stepper motors, so that's not an issue. Oh, okay. They also have another nozzle in each kit. So that's what a couple of loose ones that were in those packages. So there we have it. Cartridge, two screws, the worm drive, lower cap, upper cap, nozzle, instructions, and recipe leaflet, which I all got. So it looks like my kit is complete. So, with the exception of um, some powdery mix that has seeped out of one of these bags, I'm going to have to find out which one is broken. Um, otherwise, everything seems to be in order. Uh, now to get their documentations in place and get my uh, 3D printed parts printed to put on the collars, to mount on the X gantry, um, and stepper motor to drive the uh, um, screw, the worm. We're good. Awesome. Thanks very much.